We're going to now work on this laptop MSI GP72 6QF. It is a Leopard Pro. It has a 128GB M.2 2280 SSD and we're going to replace it with a 500GB NVMe Crucial brand SSD. Make sure to turn off your computer fully, do a proper shutdown. And now turn it around, put it on a soft surface and remove all visible screws. One good thing is all the screws are the same style, not like other brands where you have to make sure you remember where you put each screw. Now you can start lifting the bottom panel from the right side and use your fingernails or a prying tool. Gently start prying the one side of the laptop. The inside of the laptop is actually very well laid out. That's the SSD slot. You got a one terabyte hard drive. That's the ENE chip, CMOS battery. It uses DDR4 battery. It's got a very nice good cooling system as well, which also covers the MOSFETs. So I'll take the RAM out. Here it is. This is a DDR4. It is a, this one here is an upgrade from after purchase. It's got a different uh, sticker. The way this laptop is laid out on the motherboard is actually very easy to repair, easy to look at um, issues that you may have later on. Could probably put a, another hard drive in the DVD drive slot using a tray 2.5 inch to DVD drive slot. The battery is secured by screws, you do need to remove the screws. The fans are quite dirty, I'm going to give them a quick clean. That's the Wi-Fi Bluetooth chip. This is the SSD I will be replacing with. It's a crucial 500 gig NVMe M.2 SSD. There is one screw you need to remove, which is holding the SSD in there. Currently it is a M.2 128GB SSD from Toshiba. Now let's put in the NVMe chip. This slot takes both. Now notice some laptops um, will not take NVMe even though you have a similar slot so you check with manufacturer specifications before you start to purchase and attempt an upgrade. One important thing you must know is you cannot clone an existing Windows 10 installation from an M.2.2280 to an NVMe. You can but it will not boot. So the fans are quite dirty so I'm going to give them a brush and use a vacuum clean it all out. My vacuum has two modes. I can suck air and blow air. So first I blow all the air out and then I suck all the air in.
While you're at it, clean the bottom panel as well. Clean all the dust out. Now let's put the cover back on and you do the reverse process. Put the left side in first firmly. Make sure all the ports are sticking out properly and then gently start putting it down towards the right and make sure every clip clips in and don't put any screws yet do a test to see if it's detected in the BIOS first otherwise you'll have to disassemble again now I've inserted my Windows 10 USB and I'm pressing the delete key to get into BIOS to change the boot order to boot from the USB so go into boot menu and change the UEFI boot device order and make sure your USB is on the top and then reboot the system and now Windows 10 setup should start from the USB and if your USB is not a UEFI enabled you will not be able to boot like this you will need to go back to BIOS and change the boot type from UEFI to UEFI NCSM or Legacy, one of the two here we go, Windows 10 setup and the, you don't need a serial number, it's built into the motherboard so it will pick it up automatically and activate Windows automatically and if anyone out there has a solution where when you clone a SSD from M.2 2280 to NVMe and find a way to fix the Windows boot I'll be very happy to hear about it as I haven't found a solution yet Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to support this channel.